It's a new year, and my guess is that you have put some health priorities on the top of your to-do list for this new year. But the thing is, is that usually we make these big statements and big goals for ourselves, and then we quit halfway through the year, or maybe even sooner. The best way to transform your health is by doing small things every day. These things will transform your life and transform your health. So here I'm going to name my top three. One, this is the hardest one for most people because it involves one of our favorite things, caffeine. Caffeine is a toxin for our body and it actually sends our body into fight or flight. We tell our body we are not safe when we drink caffeine, especially when we drink it first thing in the morning. When we wake up, our bodies are just getting used to this new day. And when we put caffeine straight away, it tells the body that there is danger lurking around us and we have to be reactive and on guard and be aware of our environment in case of any attacks or anything that's going to hurt us. So rather, wake up and start your day with a glass of water. Just clear your system. Put some lemon in it to help cleanse your body. The more you cleanse yourself first thing in the morning, the more you're going to flush everything out of your body that you just had the day before and that built up overnight. And then eat something like a piece of fruit or have a smoothie. It doesn't have to be right away in the morning. If you're somebody who doesn't eat right away in the morning, that's okay. But remember, when you are eating your first meal or having the first thing that you put in the body um, after a night of sleep, you are breaking your fast. Break your fast with something that creates safety in the body, that allows your body to feel sustenance and nutrients, that allows your body to feel safe. And then if you need to have a cup of caffeine later in the day, try to eat it with something that is going to help the caffeine assimilate into your body and not in a way that's going to shock your body. So have it with breakfast, have it with something else. Or if you want to do what I've been doing, I have been replacing caffeine with cacao and various teas that are non-caffeinated, but allow me to keep this ritual. I like to have cacao first thing in the morning and I also use Ticino teas. So when you start your day, start with a glass of water, start by creating safety in your body. Number two, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. You've heard this one many times. Hydration is essential because water created life. Water is alive and water is necessary for our optimal functioning. Now, yes, go ahead and drink water, glasses and glasses of water. However, most water is dead. And that is an unfortunate thing because water is life. And without living structured water, we're not getting the hydration that we need. So think about spring water. Think about uh, structured water. But water can get complicated. And the best way to get hydration in your body is by eating fruits and vegetables that are hydrating. They have structured water in them. Now, what happens is biologically, when we are thirsty, our body sends hunger signals because prehistorically our body evolved from beings that only were able to get water from the food that they ate, whether they be tubers in the ground or plants and shrubs, they all got their water from food. So when we are thirsty, our body sends hunger signals. And often we confuse those hunger signals with actual hunger. When we're not hungry, we're just thirsty. So reach for a piece of fruit, have an orange, an apple, watermelon, melons, grapes. There's so many beautiful fruits out there. Have a cucumber, have hydrating foods. that are going to help you nourish and satiate your body and allow it to feel safe because it's getting the things that it needs. Number three, take a deep breath before you eat. Eat without distraction. Slow down. Because what this does is it helps your body prepare for the food that it is about to ingest. Our bodies have to do so much work to digest food. We have two things that we can do. We can either digest or we can do everything else in life. And that's often why we get sleepy when we are full. Our body needs to shut down to digest. We can help this digestion process by being conscious while we eat. We often distract ourselves with our phone, with conversation, with a book, with doing work while we're eating. And unfortunately, that keeps our body doing something functionally, but we are unconsciously acting in that way. And as a result, our body is not assimilating the food that we are ingesting. We are what we eat, but more importantly, we are what we absorb. And if you want to absorb the food that you're eating, it has to be broken down properly. Digestion begins in our mouth. That's why we salivate at the thought of food. And then it goes down into the different organs of the body, the stomach and the intestines and so on, where there's a more of a further digestive process. So it's important to prepare your body for the food. Just take a moment. Allow yourself to be present with the food. Slow down. 
eat consciously, taste and savor the food, allow the saliva to work, allow the digestive enzymes to work. Now, I know we live busy lives. It's impossible to do this for every meal of the day. But if you can do this, let's say just set a goal of doing this two to three times a week, and then maybe you can build it up to one meal a day. Allow yourself to just be present with the food that you're eating, and it will make such a big difference in the amount you're eating, what you're eating, and your awareness for how this food feels in your body, and you will eventually begin to make better choices. So these three tips that I gave you, creating safety in the body first thing in the morning, hydrating throughout the day, and being present with your food, if you just put these into action, starting with several times a week, and then make it a daily practice, it will transform your eating, your life, your weight, your consciousness, and so much more. This is how you can build a happier, healthier you. So share, like, subscribe. Let's share this work with everyone.